out of Zion comes our salvation. And on June 3rd, we're going to be heading to that land on our trip to Israel. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We want to encourage you to join Judy and I uh, as we go back to the land. It's a, uh, a great trip. It is a trip that is packed full of sights and uh, special teachings. If you've been to Israel, even with, if you've gone before, you'll see new things. You'll have new experiences. If you've never gone with a Messianic group, boy, you're in for a real blessing. Judy, let's talk a little bit about the trip that we're going to. Again, it's June 3rd through the 13th, and it's going to be a great f time of fun and fellowship. It is, and we have put together a very special trip for you. We want to give you a whole experience of the land. You're going to go from the Mediterranean Sea through the Galilee area to the desert area, then finally up to Jerusalem. It, I, I think from the very first time I ever went, the thing that struck me the most was the, it was such the vast difference that you find this, this, you know, it's Israel's tiny. Right, smaller than New Jersey. But you've got, you've got desert, you've got mountains, you've got the, the Galilee area that's, you know, lush and fertile. I mean, y you've got everything. In this one little piece of land, and that always amazes me whenever we go there. Now, Judy, one thing we always hear is people say, is it safe? And here's yes. the answer. Yes, it is. Now, do you have to worry about the Palestinians? Of course you do. We always have to worry about that. But here's what you have to understand. The Israeli government works hand-in-hand hand with all the uh, Tour tourist, guides. Co tourist guides and tourist company. And they know where everyone's going and what's what's happening. So that they'll, we'll get messages. You can't go here. This is going to go on. So that's something you, you really don't have to worry about. Uh, it, it is relatively safe to, to be there. And usually what happens after this thing, you know, it's been quiet for four years. So there's, for the next number of years, we should be in good shape. So don't worry about, oh, is, it, you know, is there going to be a war going on? And things like that we uh, would not take you if we thought that that would be the case but we're very uh, it's a great opportunity to go and to learn the land so here's some places we're gonna go right when we get off the plane we literally hit the ground running uh, and one of the reasons why we do that is we've learned that it helps with jet lag uh, by getting out in the sunshine and so when we land uh, in Tel Aviv we're gonna be taken right out to the coast and go to Caesarea and I love Caesarea it's probably the one of the uh, largest, most active um, archaeological sites there is. You'll see uh, the amphitheater, the area where they would do the chariot races. There's a whole interactive uh, thing. You could talk to Moses and other people there. It's really neat, uh, and, and that's a lot of fun. And then where are we going after that, Judy? We are going to go to Megiddo, and Megiddo is a, th they call him a tell. A tell is a... Um, mountain mountain of dirt and <laughs> and a mountain of dirt with many layers and it's an, another archaeological site we go to a lot of archaeological sites um this one is really interesting what i like about this one is you um and you see it in Z zapori also is the city gates and it, you you really get a feeling of what the city gates are but at megiddo you actually are overlooking the valley of armageddon and comprehend it oh people it's as many as four football fields or whatever it is but until you stand there and you see it for yourself with your own eyes and realize that it says that you know blood's gonna run the high as a horse's bridle that's pretty big that's pretty awe inspiring right there when you when you see that it it and so you're going to get off the plane, and you're going to hit two really big spots. And we know that Rabbi Shaul spent a lot of, the, a lot of time in Caesarea. The last, uh, what, three, four years of his right. life was spent in prison in Caesarea. So we're going to go there. Um, on the tour, we will actually be staying um, in Tiberias, for, um, and then we're staying in Jerusalem. We just felt that it was better this way. That way you're not having to pack, unpack, pack, unpack. You're actually kind of set for a while until we go to the next one. 
But the next day on the trip, we're actually going to be around the Galilee area. We're going to do I the boat say ride. One, yes. One thing about um, the uh, Megiddo is um, Napoleon, who's one of the great, uh, you know, uh, the great generals of our time, made the comment that it's the best natural battleground he'd ever seen. But we get, let's. Okay, so the next day we're going to be around Tiberias. We're going to take our boat ride. We're, and it's a very special boat ride. It's not just a boat ride because we go with the only Messianic believer on who has his own boat. Uh, also, he has his own CDs, uh, and it is his name is Danny Carmel. And he actually, we actually do a worship service in the middle of the Galilee, and it is unbelievable. It is so memorable. He has a great voice, a great ministry. And then we're going to go to Caesarea. We're going to go to Chorazin. And we're, we're going to go shopping, too, at the Jesus Boat. Yes. We're going to go to the Banyas. We're going to go to Mount Bindel. We're going to go up and see the Golan Heights. It's a really big day. So you can see we've really packed things in for you. Then One of the reasons why it's the summertime and it's longer, longer hours, hours so we can do more. More sunlight. And we want you to see the land and get your money for it. And then the next day we're going to be doing a... Uh, we're going to plant a tree where we say plant it. You'll actually plant your own tree, tree that's right. in Israel. We're going to go to Nazareth. We're going to go to Zephori. We're going to do a baptism in or the a Georgia mikvah. River, a mikvah in the Jordan River. And you, know, you mentioned about the planting of the trees. When we did our trip with uh, American Center for Law and Justice that you and I led, we actually started a new forest for them because we planted over 300 trees at the place where um, – the Maccabees. The Maccabees started with the Hanukkah, so that was kind of neat. And then on that Friday, we're going to go to Sfat. We're going to go to Bet Shean, which is another mm. wonderful archaeological. The largest arche archaeological active dig in the country. It is amazing. And then we go up to Jerusalem. We actually end our day on Mount Scopus overlooking the, the old city of Jerusalem, overlooking the Temple Mount, and what a what a way to end your day in right. Jerusalem. But it doesn't end there because that also is the beginning of Shabbat, and we actually end the day at the Western Wall as we watch all the different yeshivas come dancing in and celebrating the beginning of Shabbat. It is absolutely amazing. It's one of those sites uh, that just stays with you for the rest of your life. Now, that's uh, Friday. What are we doing on Saturday? We're, we're touring all day. Saturday, we're going to the Garden Tomb. We're going to the Israeli Museum. We're going to the Shrine of the Book where the Dead Sea Scrolls are. And a little more shopping that's in right. the Old City. And we even might have a s little surprise on that day as well. We're working to, to be able to go to a, a see about joining a Messianic congregation for their Shabbat service. And we're also going to have a number of special speakers come during different nights to share about what it means to live in the land. And, and then on Sunday. We're in the old city, and there's so much to see in the old city. It's a walking day. Um, we're going to see the Mount of Olives. We're going to go to the Garden of Gethsemane. We're going to see the Herodian Mansion. We're going to go to the Opel and the ar Archaeological Garden. We'll be again in the Western Wall Complex. We're Just also going to the Temple, Temple Institute. Institute. Well, you say it's a walking day. We also do ride the bus, so yeah. don't think, oh, it's not that if, you, if you're having problems, they, they, they can work with you on that. Um, but it's a great one. And then on that Monday, we're doing some other things. We're still in the old city. We're going to uh, visit the Tower of David, and we'll continue to do the Western Wall Tunnel, which is a great experience. And then we're going to drive to Yan Hashemo, which is a large Messianic community, and see how <coughs> excuse me, it is to live in the land. Uh, we're also going to visit a biblical garden as well. And then on Tuesday the 11th, we're going to go to the Dead Sea. We're going to go to the uh, Masada, Qumran, in Gedi. And then Wednesday is a free day to do whatever you want in Jerusalem. And then we return back on the 13th. Go to our website, rabbiscott.com. Sign up, ask for more information. We'll be glad to send you out the information. It's a trip of a lifetime. Check out our website. Great prices. You'll love the trip. Check us out. We want to be part of that. Remember, you can also go and uh, follow me on Twitter at, at Rabbi underscore Scott. Check it out. We'll be there. We'll be looking to 
tweet with you on Twitter. Until next week, this is Rabbi Scott and Judy saying shalom and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.